Hi everyone, I'm Tori, an adult doll collector, and I create videos for other adult doll collectors and doll enthusiasts to enjoy. Today I wanted to do a tag video. The tag is going to be share and change your vintage babies. I would love to see videos and posts of all of you just sharing your love for your vintage baby dolls. So here I have one of my vintage baby dolls in my doll collection. Actually, this is my newest addition to my doll collection currently. She is a Jesmar doll from the 1980s. I did a whole video where I unboxed her from her original packaging. She was an amazing eBay find. Plus, I also shared some footage from a live TV in 1988 from a show that was selling these dolls. Please excuse the sound in the background. One of my children thinks that it is necessary to scream with happiness right now, apparently. <laughs> so we're gonna be changing this little one here. And um, let me show you what I'm gonna change her into. She's gonna be wearing this Carter set. It's a newborn Carter set. It's a sleeper with a hat. Now you may be thinking, oh no, those are some dark colors on this sleeper. I'd be scared about that, but the lining is light on the inside of the outfit, so I'm not really worried about it bleeding onto the vinyl. Also, this outfit has been washed and worn quite a few times. This actually came secondhand from Once Upon a Child. When I saw it, I immediately thought of this baby since she has like a little baldy head, so she needs a little hat. So let's get to changing this little one. Oh no, I think I need a diaper. I need a diaper. I think I have some right here actually. I do, I do have diapers right here in the bin. Look at that, newborn diaper. Now, when I remove this diaper, it's going to rip and this is not going to be salvageable once I remove it. This doll is over 35 years old it's been brand new in the box this whole time. So, um, yeah, the little diaper is not going to make it. Look at it. It's going to rip. There it goes. Oh, that's so sad. So sad. But I really want to enjoy this doll in my collection. I want to change her. So when you share your vintage dolls, I would love to hear the stories behind them. Is it a doll that you had since your childhood and you really loved it? Oh goodness, she's anatomically correct. So hold on, let me get this diaper ready. Is it a doll that you wish you had as a child but got later in life as an adult? Is it a doll that you just really enjoy having? What's the story be behind how you got the doll? You know? Did you find it at a doll show and you'd never seen them before? Or, you know, just, yeah, what's the story behind the doll? This baby also has a little umbilical cord, little bandage there. Isn't that so cute? I'm going to leave that on her for now. But she does have this little realistic little cord underneath. Let me take off her little hospital shirt. I'm also going to leave her hospital band on for now. You can get a closer look at her details too with this little, little um, gown off. Very realistic. One of the first realistic vinyl dolls Back then, everybody was impressed because when you would see these realistic babies like this, a lot of them were porcelain. And so this was revolutionary in the doll world back in the 80s. Everybody was fascinated with them. And um, even they were even replicated. They were even <laughs> stolen and replicated by China, just like a lot of our reborn doll sculpts are today. 
and they made like a much cheaper version. It was cheaper vinyl. The ones from China, they are not only um, made out of a different cheaper vinyl, they're also usually smaller. You can definitely spot them if you really learn about these dolls as I did. My kids are playing with new toys that they got today. They are very, very happy, but also fighting over the new toys. I've also seen some of these dolls reborn. So then they're considered reborn dolls once they are painted. But um, I will not be reborning mine. I will be keeping it all original. I just love having this piece of dolly history. I think it's really cool. So I'm gonna keep her as is. As for a name for her, in the live TV callers from the clip of people calling in and buying these little babies in 1988, there was one caller whose name was Rosalie I thought that was a really pretty name and I thought, you know what, why don't I go ahead and just name this doll after one of the callers that called in to buy one. That would just be um, a fun way to name her and it's just a cute name. Look at her. Oh my goodness. I almost want to keep this open because it's just so cute. I think I will for some pictures but it will look really cute when it's all buttoned up too. Love it. So I want to hear from all of you. Even if you can't make a video, you don't have a YouTube channel or you don't have Instagram or anything like that, just leave in the comments. What are your favorite vintage dolls in your collection? And um, what do you like most about them? What's the story behind them? I would love to hear about it in the comments because I love my vintage babies. I hope you all enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.